Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hey, hello everybody, Yes, is Pythia, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Plays channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to make base, like lasers, you know, doors, um, for the Brain Rock kit. Uh, a lot of people are asking for this little tutorial, so I want to bring out a lot of stuff, and I'm going to be making more tutorials. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me, everybody. Um, but yeah, we're going to get straight into this. So <clears throat> in the last video, we talked about just going into like making the game. Um, not too hard, not too crazy, but I did change a few things and I'm going to show you what I did. Okay. And how this works. Um, so let's just go off of kind of what we did last time. Okay. You guys probably had um, this game and you had the like map. Okay. So in the map, uh, this was Tigo, so there's a lot of stuff in there, but what I did, um, and make sure you guys ungroup and follow what we did in the last tutorial. Um, basically what I did, I'm going to go over a few things first before we kind of hop into like making the lasers. And I just want to make sure you guys know what's going on. So, um, you got to have the waypoints, make sure they're on that, you know, the start and then waypoint one and waypoint two is at the end. Okay. So just make sure those are there. Now, what I recommend, I don't know why I did this in the beginning, but make sure you just start off with two bases. Just do two bases because I'm going to be probably making more videos on um, this kit, and I just want to make it easier for you guys. Um, but make start off with two bases, just minimum, and then we'll duplicate it and go on from the end when everything's set up. Because um, like, like right now, we have all these GUIs that we're going to actually delete and fix. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll go into that in a second here. Um, but so... With the map, um, what I did personally is I actually just have the bases, delete the other map bases or whatever, and just have um, the main ones. So you should have these. And inside, what I did, so um, I'll actually show you this one more time. Um, in the map in here, there's these bases, base one, barriers, main, lasers. So what I did is I actually just dragged. Um, so if you actually have these lined up, let's say like you had the bases lined up, I just drag this lasers folder into the base one. Okay, let's say. So drag it into base one. Um, and I'm gonna show you again real quick what that does. But um, so that once you do that, you should be good. You don't need anything else. Um, he had it set up a certain way, but for now it's okay because you know we we're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna make it a very, very simple way because they already have the door locking working in the guy's kit and golden milk's kit. Um, but we just need to customize it. So when you drag the lasers in, um, call it laser, by the way, um, just rename it to laser. Um, it should just look like this. You should just have laser and you should have all these things. There is doors, door one or whatever. I don't even know how that works, but we'll talk about that later. Um, so you, going into that, you should have everything. It should look like this. Collect zone, I just want to recommend saying this again. Um, make sure this is at the bottom of the collect zone. It should just be right here. Um, so once you do that, you should be good. And... Um, yeah, and then friends, uh, this is another button that we can mess around and change. So like over here, uh, you can actually have it so your friends are allowed or not. Um, I don't really know how that works, but um, I'm guessing I'm, I'm just going to go like this just in case. But I think it's the right way facing. <laughs> um, oops. Um, okay, so we'll go into that later. And then we have the lock button. So that's what I was also going to say. And actually, it is facing this way. So I'll go like that. And then just make it smaller. Um, I think you base lock it right here, if I'm correct. I think this is where it's supposed to be base lock. I'll have to go play Steel Brain Rock because I've kind of forgot. Um, but yeah, so go like that. And then owner, um, which we'll talk about. We'll fix that later. Spawn, this is where you spawn. Um, and we'll change all the transparencies because you're going to want to do that. Um, I think it already Matic does it for you, but we'll check that later. But um, yeah, okay, so laser, all good. But one thing you do need to do is you need to set the transparency to one. So go and highlight all of these and set it to one, okay? Once you set it to one, um, it's gonna show it it's invisible, okay? So this basically, the bases start off unlocked. Um, I'm pretty sure they start off locked actually though when you play, so we'll test that, but yeah. So I'm gonna just play and show you actually real quick, um, and then we'll go into the programming part. Um, okay, yeah, so I was right, they, uh, oh, this is base two. Why does that always happen? Um, yeah, so base two, uh, as it is, um, basically, we uh, we started off locked. So yeah, as you can tell, it says locked. Um, all these are popping up. I can walk through them because I'm the owner. Um, if I were to have my friends allowed, um, my friends would allow to be able to walk through as well. Um, but yeah, so watch, it's gonna disappear. There you go. 
Um, and what we're doing, and the way I should program this, is I just made it as simple as possible. I'm actually just making these parts transparent and not transparent. That's all I'm doing. I'm not even doing can collide. I'm not doing anything else just because there's no reason to do that. And then you hit locked and you go through right here. Um, reason I say that is because he, the uh, Golden Milk already made the kit. So uh, in each of this, you have a door. So this big door right here, which I can put on uh, transparent, is actually already blocking players. So you wouldn't even need to worry about anything as this is the main door that's going to block things. So um, in your laser, uh, make sure base two, base one. Like I said, honestly, you can just do one base and duplicate it and call it base two and you're good. Um, but what you're going to have to do, and so how I figured this out, is um, you're going to head over to uh, the player script. Okay, so in here, I want you guys to pay attention to my screen because uh, you're going to have to copy and paste all this and write it in, in your own words as well. Um, what I did is, you know, I was like, okay, he goes through here. We have base, he has doors, and there's door one. So I was like, okay, there's got to be something in the scripts that is just changing the transparency, that's changing the can collide, all that. So I searched up door and find replace all, which is something that's very useful in programming. So you're going to click this button. It should be right here, okay? And so I, like I said, I searched door and boom, it was only one script that had it. So this is the script that handles all the doors. Now he does a lot of things with setting properties and blah, 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 blah. But we don't need to worry about that. The only thing we needed to look at was, okay, so I scroll down to the bottom and I'll give you an example real quick in which I'll talk to you guys about what you need to make. Um, I just saw that, you know, he went through here. Let's say he did a for loop. He's going in between the base. So he's going to do four underscore and then call him base, which we're going to go inside, grab the base and get all of the children. So basically we're going to call base as in this is the base of this file um, to the children of that. Um, then we're going to go and find the door by going into base dot door. So base dot doors. And then we're getting the children of that. And then door can collide, blah, 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 blah. Um, this is actually very useful because if we do do rebirths and all those stuff and do new floors, it's helpful because you can actually um, use this script to just by just like you could just copy this and call it door two or whatever and it do the same thing. Um, and yeah, so then he's just setting the descendant and can collide and transparency. So this is more of the functions of just doing the visual appearance. Now, one thing you do need to change though is I put an edit here just so I don't forget. But this is what I added. Okay, so. You're just going to add this copy. You can pause, pause the video if you want and just copy this down. Um, look at the lines of code right here as well. This might help you out if you're a little lost. This line of code is where I'm at in the script. So um, it looks a little, 1201. So just put it right here. And yeah, so we're doing four underscore laser in I pairs. And we're going to go through the floor loop and we're going to go base dot laser. So we're finding base dot laser get children. So everything in here, we're going to go through that in a for loop. And if laser is a part, which it is, but just in case. Um, then laser dot transparency equals one. So we're just we're just setting the transparency. That's all we're doing. We're not um, we're not doing anything else. We're just setting the transparency. Blah blah blah. And as you can tell right here, this is actually at the bottom of the script. So that means it's basically going to start right away. That's going to make it transparent to uh, um, one. So going here now, we're going to go to the other parts that I did. So um, let's just go up. Maybe we'll find the first one. So okay, first one's right here again. Second one. I mean, sorry. Um, in here. Like I said, I was going through and I just had to find anything that was related to this because he does it multiple times. We just copy and paste. So you're good to just go find this script. This looks like it was at 984. Just go below and you can just copy and paste what we wrote. Um, so boom, you're done. Uh, I'm not done yet, but one more, <laughs> a few more. Uh, then you go up again, going to keep scrolling. And then boom, we have another one right here. So edit here. I just put that here. Um, but 814. So around, yeah, right here, 822 is when he does the other one. But this one... He sets more of the properties and does more of the like uh, client sided things with friends walking through, making sure it's locked, blah, blah, blah. But this one's actually enabling it. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste it. And then you're actually going to set the transparency to uh, 0.3. Reason we're doing 0.3 is so it looks like it's like somewhat transparent, but not, you know, because it looks like a laser. Um, but yeah, then you're good. Oh, then you're good. And uh, that's that one. And we go one more up, just like right above it. It's going to be 792 on the code line. And you're just going to copy and paste what we originally wrote and you should be good. It's the same thing. Just transparency equals one. And I think that was it. Let's double check again. Just make sure. Um, you can just scroll through up here and make sure. Uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, you can go here also and double check transparencies. Boom, 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 boom. These are all of them. So we should be good. 
yeah we uh, we covered it all right so yeah that that's it you guys that's how you make the little base lasers and stuff um i'm gonna make more tutorials on how to do everything else i know you guys are wanting more of that so don't worry it's coming but um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video